for this speaker from the commission. Do you have any questions? Uh, I, I just have one. Uh, yes, sir. I, I failed to find out. Where is your copy? Right behind the back. Yeah, that If they're if they're for family, no, you could share an entrance. We, we have exemptions for family members, and that would include sharing an entrance for um, for family ties. Is is the request is typically associated with that? Would that okay? Would there be any would be possible of, of uh, establishing any entrances off of that driveway that go back to your property? Um, no, sir. I, I think they're on two separate properties, so his driveway would be isolated from their their driveway. Um, I don't know of any shared easements or access agreements that exist for those two. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Bruce. Um, you said they could put up to four dwellings on there? Yes. Sir. As long as they were uh, family? Yes, sir. And they're going to be manufactured housing, so mobile homes, right? Manufactured housing is allowed um, for that area in EA or RA zoning. You can have a typically a single wide or a double wide for those two zones. Okay, suppose they sold it later on, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and there was four manufactured housing on there. And what what's going to happen at that time? I mean. Does it revert back and they have to move the mobile homes off and they can only put, uh, what, two or an SA? Isn't it supposed to be two and a half acre months? If they were subdividing the property, the county typically follows the conveyance, meaning if I was, if it were my property and I conveyed, you know, an, an acre to my son, you've satisfied our rules. We don't typically follow the sale after it's conveyed to a family member. In cases where you just live without conveyance, um, they they would be in, in violation of, of county rules. I'm not familiar with how code enforcement would handle that if they were permitted under family ties, but then they came back and sold it to someone else. Um, but they, they would be in violation of that rules because it's for family members. Um, so I, I can't tell you how we would handle that, but they would be in violation of that rule. Uh, what's their objective now uh, at the present time? What do they want to accomplish out of it? I think what they want is the ability to move two homes onto the subject property, one for um, the father and his family, and one for the son and his family. And I do believe they want to do... The apparently the house is there. The, the existing house is on its own piece and would remain. So this would be on the four acres that's between Mr. Lawler's piece and the two and a half acres up front. Okay. So if we wanted to, could we, if they're wanting to try and just accomplish two mm -hmm. mobile homes now, could it possibly be put in a motion that it limited it, limits to two residences? Yes, sir. Okay. I have an issue. Yeah. I have an issue. I believe the... Um, at least half of the applicants are here. Okay. Um, but I, I'm not going over any type of conditions, but yeah. okay. I, I think that's possible, yes, sir. I'd about to say, Mr. Chairman, can we ask the applicant if he is here to address his need, address his um, intentions to us? Well, I gave the applicant an, an opportunity to address the, to address the commission. Um, I think maybe I'm hoping maybe we can get all the information that we need without having to go back to that. I had rather not go in that direction. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Davenport. Is there anything, if, if I'm if I'm understanding this right, if there's there's uh, 4.8 and 2.5. Yes, sir. Is there anything keeping the applicant from doing what they are looking to do from family ties without subdividing the property? Yes, sir. They, um, family ties is 
those provisions are allowed as one piece or if you subdivide. Subdividing is a little harder, um, but certainly it's allowed whether you subdivide or keep it as a whole piece. So, if, so, so I understand, if they, if they kept everything as it is, of course the 2.5 is already subdivided, so they just have this 4.8. That's right. And this is the only issue that we're looking at at this time. So it's already been separated from the 2.5. Yes, sir. The, the 2.5 acre was the original rezoning request, yeah. okay. and then that 4.8 was supposed to be combined with an adjacent property, but that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Okay. And so, it, that's why we're here. Okay. You know that that did not happen, and they wanted to try to use that independently of the two and a half acres, and and here we are. Um, essentially, the planning commission staff approved that previous request request with the intention that would be combined because it wasn't five acres. Mm-hmm.